Hi guys, it's Monster Cameron here again today, and um, today I want to talk about uh, what I want to see in the next gen consoles. Uh, they could possibly be a year or two away, but um, here are some of the things I would like to see. First, uh, a really good processor. Even though the last gen uh, systems, uh, namely the PS3, had a decent processor, had that IBM cell processor. Uh, with those, uh, with, let's say up to eight cores, something like that. Uh, the Xbox had that triple core IBM um, processor uh, that was based on PowerPC, and Nintendo had a single core IBM processor, uh, uh, also PowerPC architecture. Um, so for this next gen, uh, yeah, just step up the core count. I want faster uh, physics because uh, I think they still do physics off the processors. As for the graphics, um, last gen had around uh, 150 to 300 uh, uh, gigaflops of, uh, of graphics compute power, uh, which was decent. You know, the PS3 had some really nice graphics, especially Killzone. <clears throat> so when it's really optimized, you can get a really good looking game. Um, but uh, brute force, you know, makes it a lot easier for developers to make pretty games. So uh, anything above. I don't know, let's say 750 um, uh, 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 gigaflops, like um, I'll say a 7770 level or higher GPU, that's an ATI GPU, or a four, a 550 Ti kind of level, anything above that should be fine. Uh, all of them should have built-in Wi-Fi, I know the, the Wii and the PS3 had it, the Xbox didn't. You had to get the the adapter or get the newer models. Um, so all of them need to have built-in Wi-Fi. All of them need to have built-in um, Ethernet as well. I know uh, some of them are trying to skip that, but uh, I hope they don't because yeah, a lot of people still use wired connections, and it's a lot more stable than uh, wireless connections. I hope they all use a Blu-ray or some uh, similar high-density, high-capacity storage medium. Uh, I wouldn't even mind. Uh, uh, the resurgence of HD DVD because I think that's still uh, still pretty good. Or go back to a, cart a cartridge-like method using a uh, cheaply available flash storage. Um, so so uh, as a means of distributing the games through uh, you know uh, shops like GameStop and Game and wherever. Um, a cartridge I think would be good. It'll be a little bit more expensive than a, a disc, but I think a cartridge would be good because. Or at least raw memory, like high speed uh, flash memory, or something like that. Because you know, the games would load a lot faster. Because uh, Blu ray, it's fast, but it's, you still get long load times. Uh, flash memory, it should be faster. And it, um, yeah, uh, and uh, less mechanical parts, I'd say. So less means of failure. Um, they all need to have a hard drive bay. I know the PS3 had a, a, a generic 2.5 inch hard drive bay. Um, the Xbox, you had to use their proprietary hard drives, and the Wii had an SD card slot, which isn't too bad. Um, but for bigger games, <clears throat> the SD card slot might be limited, especially because you know uh, they're limited in speed compared to a standard 2.5 inch disc. Because you can always get like a cheap 64 gig SSD for about 80 bucks nowadays, and that will hold a bunch of games. I would say. Maybe if they're four gigs a piece, that's uh, was that eight, eight? No, my math is horrible. Sixteen games. So um, you have a bunch of games you can get on a sixty-four gig SSD, and it'll be really fast loading because you can get like a crucial SSD for, with a three hundred megabits per second throughput uh, for the um, the read. Uh, so yeah, those are some of the things I want. Um, traditional sizes. For your for your stack, um, no curves or, or cubes or anything. It's just a flat box. Um, it doesn't have to stand out. I don't know why they think it has to be a cube or some weird ass uh, concave shape uh, or a convex shape like the PS4 or the Xbox. Uh, it just needs to be a flat thing. The front can be whatever, but it needs to be stackable. And um, for the life of God, please. Please have a web browser that supports Flash. I know Flash is going the way of Dodo soon, but it's still, you know, big. 
Uh, sometimes you want to watch a video and uh, you want to watch it on your, your TV. You want to hook up your laptop or start your set top box or whatever. You can just have your you know, your console playing. I think the PS3 does flash, but uh, a newbie does flash. The Xbox doesn't have a, a web browser. But yeah, they all need a web browser because that's a big thing. And also, you know, network uh, services, um, well, local network services like DLNA it's, uh, needs to be improved and compatibility, compatibility uh, heightened. And internet services, they all need to uh, include them. They all need to have Netflix, Hulu, all that uh, YouTube included in the packaging uh, when you turn it on without having to download it uh, day one. If they don't have that, they're going to lose out, I'll say, most of the casual users who play some games but they use it more more as a set top box uh, also kill the cloud I know a lot of people are hyping the cloud that you can get really awesome games on mobile devices with services like on uh, on live but the cloud needs to die really quick first of all it's unreliable second of all it's un uh, expensive and third of all you don't own anything on the cloud you don't have any privacy on the cloud and the cloud isn't yours, it's you're borrowing, you're renting it. It's, it's a bad idea. Uh, the, the cloud is not a good thing. Um, and I think that's mainly it. Uh, I don't know of any other features I would want. Uh, a lot of these features are, are some kind of, uh, kind of in, uh, implemented. Also, uh, on the game side, more free to play. I know they're a little bit uh, dirty sometimes. It's easy about free to play games that uh, they're pay to win which I absolutely hate uh, but you know it does sometimes you just don't have cash to pay for $60 for a game you're only gonna play for two hours then throw away and uh, especially if it's like um, a download only service like you download the games you buy the games off online uh, you can't sell that game you should be able to sell it there should be like some kind of marketplace where you can just set your price and maybe who are, uh, like Sony or, who, or Microsoft they can take like a small 5% cut of that sale but you can have like used game sales from user to users or users can like trade the games that would be interesting as well or even you know 99 cents a day to rent a game because sometimes you know you don't want to play the game you know that's why Gamefly was such a successful business um, but yeah those are some of my thoughts on uh, what the next gen consoles need I think mainly they just need really good hardware because there, are, there aren't many good game dev studios out there that can uh, really take advantage of, like low level uh, bare to metal uh, you know style graphics or well, not style graphics but bare to metal programming because that's really difficult but uh, yeah that's my piece uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below and uh, subscribe if you think that you want to hear me rant about more stuff in the future. Peace.